Hi everybody, it's Mike, part-time reselling in the Pittsburgh area. Here's what sold this week for the week ending July 1st, 2022, July already. Okay, um, last, oh, stick around till the end. I will show you how much I paid for all this stuff and my total profit. Uh, also, my usual disclaimer, this is the stuff that I bought that actually resold. Doesn't mean that everything I buy resells. I currently have around 125 items on eBay. So that means I bought 125 things that haven't sold yet. Doesn't count the uh, couple of things that I, uh, listings that I ended last night because they weren't moving. and I didn't think they were going to move. So we're down to around 125. Uh, so all right, let, let's get right to it. Uh, this uh, Hasbro Video Now personal video player with SpongeBob Dunces and Dragons DVD. I got this at a church raffle or rummage sale rather. Uh, it cost me a dollar, sold it for $20.56 for a profit of $15.36. This Matthews solo cam hat, it's been around for a while, finally sold. Uh, I got it at a Goodwill outlet store where they charge by weight, so it cost me 24 cents. <laughs> I sold it for $15.56 for a profit of $8.33. Moving along, this uh, gelish soak off gel polish high performance LED gel light 18G. I, I don't know what it's actually called. This was the big winner of the week. Me and my girlfriend went to an estate sale. And uh, down the road from the estate sale, the people were having a yard sale, a garage sale. It was a business. All right, let's not... You walk into the garage, it, it was a business. But anyway, uh, saw this and figured this seems like it would be something. Basically, what I think it is, if you have the uh, uh, the jealous gel polish, you, you stick your hand in there and it like kind of melts away the gel, I think. Kind of like a nail polish remover kind of thing, I think it is. Anyway, got it for $8. It sold for $148.63 for a big profit of $121.93. This is one of the situations where I didn't know what this did. I didn't know what it was, but it looked like it could be something. So I looked it up. So that's a, that's a tip for you just because you don't know what something is. It doesn't mean you can't make money off of it. Uh, moving on. This is uh, actually from my girlfriend's dad. It's a Jeep wheel center cap. Uh, he uh, he uh, got rid of his Jeep and uh, had these left over. I don't know the story. But anyway, I'm putting this down as a cost of nothing because it didn't come. Uh, I didn't buy it. Uh, sold it for, uh, where are we at here? $25.97. So profit after fees and shipping and all that comes to $22.02. And two cents. Uh, all right, next, this one has been around for a while, finally sold. Sylvania Portable CD uh, Radio. This was another uh, Goodwill outlet buy. Got it for uh, $3.50. It finally sold for $17.32. This has been around <clears throat> for uh, 235 days. It was listed the uh, 235 days ago and this week uh, finally sold okay let's move along here this uh this is a story sidewinder 30 case and accessories just the case i was uh semi duped when i bought something on uh, an online auction local online auction uh it was a, a scope and it was uh it said a particular brand but it was in this sidewinder case and uh, i looked it up i thought it was a sidewinder scope but it wasn't uh, but, uh, the case, uh, anyway, I, I got it for a low price. I'm like, this is great. Then I realized it wasn't a sidewinder scope. Anyway, I sold the case and the side wheel thingy that was in it. Uh, I'm putting it down as a cost of zero, uh, because that was not the reason I got the, uh, the auction lot. Uh, anyway, it sold for, uh, where are we at? $28 and 39 cents profit of $23 and seven cents. AccuCheck Nano Blood Glucose Monitor thing. Uh, I, I see these often in estate sales, which kind of makes sense because usually estate sales, uh, the people are older people, and unfortunately, the blood glucose glucose monitors. It, it, it's anyway a health issue. Anyway, um, uh, so I found this one. Usually do okay with these. Got it for five dollars, which was a little pricey. Usually there's a there are a couple of dollars cheaper than that, but sold for twenty seven dollars. And three cents, my profit on that was 
and 52 cents and I probably could have made more because that sold the same day that I listed it and I, when that happens I always say darn I probably could have got a couple more dollars out of that I might have priced it too low Volkswagen car radio got this for five dollars at an estate sale sold it for fifty nine dollars twenty three cents for a profit of forty three dollars and twenty seven cents the story behind this one uh a lot of the car radios uh, once you disconnect them from the battery, you need a security code to get it going again. This is to help with uh, theft. Uh, I, by the way, I have a video uh, how to get uh, a security code for your certain type of radios, but I couldn't get a code for this one. I powered it up and see that you need, it needs the code. So I had listed it saying, uh, you, need, you need the code for this. I don't have it. Uh, a guy had uh, emailed me and said, uh, hey, it's a great price. If you have the code, you don't have the code, I'll offer you $25. I'm like, well, I just listed it, so I'm going to pass. And three days later, it sold for the full price. So uh, just something to think about. Maybe if something just listed and somebody tries to undercut it, maybe just let it go for a little while and, and see what happens. But I'm glad that sold. This next one, this Doxy Flip Scan Everywhere, Everywhere, Everything model, uh, this was another one at that uh, garage sale that I found. This is another one I was like, this seems like it could be something. Bought it for $3, sold it for $57.23. My profit after fees and all that wonderfulness, $44.68. Um, this was another one that I might have gotten a little bit more out of it. I wasn't sure where to price it. There are none on eBay. One sold at an auction at $40. That was the one bid. Uh, auctions usually not the way to go um, so I wasn't sure where to price it so I tried 57 and I guess that was a good price because somebody bought it within a day or two uh, maybe could have got more out of that if I uh, if I had thought about it but anyway this uh, this is another one from the the, the girlfriend's uh, father this uh, Acer uh, adapter uh, so again I'm putting it down as costing me nothing sold it for $28.13 uh, profit of $18 and 74 cents uh that money is going okay don't 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 tell my girlfriend's dad but my girlfriend's like i don't know if i'm gonna tell him that we sold this stuff because like he gave it to us like hey why don't you put this in yard sale i'm like yeah okay yeah we'll, we'll do that yeah yeah um and then we've sold a couple of things and my girlfriend's like i might not tell him <laughs> that we sold his stuff maybe we'll just maybe we'll just take that money that's <laughs> <laughs> All right, another keg, another car radio sold. Uh, uh, this uh, Delco GM radio, this has been around for a while too. Uh, I got this for uh, $3 at a thrift store, sold for $18.76 for a profit of $11.68. Yes, it was a very busy week. Uh, last week I was uh, uh, saying I only sold two items. That happened sometime in this week, boom, I sold 11. It's amazing what happens when you finally get around to listing some things. So let's go over the totals. Uh, these uh, items cost me a total of $28.74. And my profit after shipping and fees and supplies and all that comes out to $331.02. So it was a very good week. But remember, like I said before, uh, just because I bought something doesn't mean I'm going to resell it. it just happened to be a, a, a good week for me. Um, so I think that is it. I'm pretty sure there was something else I was going to mention that I can't remember now. That happens just about every video. I should really start writing stuff down. But I thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate that you take your time to watch it. And I will talk to you later. Bye.